Hello. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I want to replant some, well, repot some plants, particularly my philodendron gloriosums. They, yeah, mama's talking. They do have aphids, so it's been a struggle, but I'm gonna show you what that looks like. And I wanna plant them in a bigger pot because how they grow is kind of wonky and I'll show you that in just a second. So hopefully by replanting them in this like larger rectangular pot, it will have them produce bigger leaves and do a lot better than being in a smaller pot. So let me show you what the aphids look like. So here they are and they're three separate plants. These are the containers. I just got these from the Dollar Tree, you guys. They're rectangular containers, and I'm gonna poke some holes on the bottom of the containers. Now that I'm looking at it, I might have to, these might be a little bit too big. Actually, I don't know. We'll see when we get into it. But let me show you guys what I'm talking about. And let me see if I can get a good one. Hold on one second. All right, so you see this like sappy dot right there and I'll put an arrow on the screen so you know what I'm talking about. That is the sap that they leave behind and I'm pretty sure this is aphids. Like it will be on the leaves and also on the stems of the plant and they suck, what they do is they suck the life out of the plant and then they leave, I guess it's called honeydew behind on the leaves and on the stems as well let me see if oh yeah you could see right here if it'll focus hold on let me try to move this plant so i can get a good you can kind of see on the stem bless you baby on the stem here as well and i'll also put an arrow so you see what i'm talking about and they are, I mean, some of them you'll see it's like tiny sap pockets. Some of them are large, but I'm going to rinse these down with some really warm water and also with some um, soap, warm soapy water. You can see the leaves are kind of curling because they are, they do need a drink, but I think it's best to repot when your plants are dry. And also, so here you see how they grow. You see like how it's like coming out of the pot. Well, a lot of these like nodes right here, I'm going to put them in the re rectangle pot so they can kind of lay flat. And then these nodes can start growing roots into the soil so that hopefully they will grow a lot better. So all of them are pretty much like that, though. They're like growing out of the pot, as you can see this little stem right here. And then this one also. So let's go ahead and get these in the shower. I'm going to rinse these off very well, and then let's get them potted up. All right, so I am kind of just loosening up the soil a bit, and I'm not going to be taking the soil like completely apart because it really wasn't necessary. So I'm just getting the stick to where, um, like the, um, where you bottom water it and I'll show you guys a close up here. I'm pulling that out and then I'm just taking the plant completely out of the nursery pot. And I'm gonna show you the close up of the roots here. As you can see, it's a little bit root bound on the bottom. So good thing that I'm taking them apart now. Um, and like I said, I'm not really undoing the ball of soil. The soil really wasn't um, bad or anything, even though it does have aphids. Um, I'm just going to spray them down very well. So that's basically just like the technique I'm using here. I just have a plastic bag and I was, um, yeah, just kind of taking it apart and loosening things up. really do recommend bottom watering your plants it is very kind of like a daunting task it is time consuming but I do think that it helps with pests um, I mean you can't really eliminate them I mean I guess you can eliminate them completely but um, I do think it's just it's better it, it helps control the pest a lot better so I'm just cleaning up the countertop I always clean as I go I just think it's 
it's so much more convenient. You don't have to go back and, you know, clean up after yourself later. But once I get the bathroom countertop nice and cleaned, I'm gonna go ahead and spray the plants off very, very well. And I will say that this actually the aphids were a lot worse than they than they than they are now. So this method has been working for me. Now, I know you're probably gonna think I'm crazy for doing this, but I have tested this out on a plant before, and like I said, this has worked for me. I just use some of the Dawn Power Wash Spray, and I spray the roots and the bottom of the plants very well. I let it sit for a little bit, and then I rinse it off, off with very warm water. I try not to get the bottom, like the soil and everything. I mean, it's inevitable you are going to get a little bit on there, but I try to really just focus on spraying the stems and the leaves because that's where the aphids like to sit. And then I go back in with some neem oil. I, you guys, this stuff stinks so bad. I hate the smell of this. Um, but so, uh, you know, just, just an FYI, it does stink. Um, so I go in with like the light spray and then the harder spray and I let that sit. You guys, I didn't know these lids don't come off. So I don't know why I didn't think to check that, but I'm going to pop them off. They should be fairly easy to come off. Like it's just right there. So let's try and pop these lids off before I'm going to make some holes on the bottom. Yeah. It came off pretty good. Yeah. Okay. So I got my, I have my glue gun preheating. And then should I do all three? Let's start off with one. I think, it, I don't think it's going to be too much. Like I'm not going to fill it up with so much. So let's take that one off. So do that. And then styrofoam. Okay, so let's poke some holes in this. Okay, so I used to have wood burning tools, but I got rid of them because I just don't use them anymore. So we're going to see if this works. I heated up my hot glue gun. And yeah, woo, it's hot. All right, so this should be able to poke some holes. Let's poke some holes on the bottom of this. Come on, work. Yeah! Super easy. Okay. There's one. That worked out really well. Sweet. Okay. Let's do maybe three on each one. And I'm kind of just pushing a little bit, like giving it some pressure. Okay. Two. Well, let's make this one a little bit bigger. The more you hold it down, the bigger it'll get. And then let's do a third one right here. Yes, sir. Okay, sweet. Nice. All right, so I'm gonna repeat this process. I'm gonna keep going. All right, so I've got my mixture here. 
All that's in here is potting soil, perlite, and orchid bark mixed together. I'm going to try to put one in here to see how big it is. I was going to try to um, fit two, but I think it might be too tight. I am going to move to the other side of here so I can get to planting. I just want to let you guys know the audio will probably be a lot lower. Um, so yeah, just letting you know. All right, so the first thing I need to do, my arm is super, super sensitive and I just got a rash on it. So I believe it's from this, from the soil. So I am going to put a glove on this arm and actually, should I pull up it? Probably. So what am I doing? Just to protect it. Okay, so let's see how big it is. So I think that'll be good, actually. I mean, it is kind of like double the room, but hopefully, I don't know, maybe we should just test this one. I think with two of them, it's gonna be too crowded. Yeah, because I want it to lay down to be able to, yeah, we're going to try just doing this. So let's see how this works. Okay, actually, let's put this in here and let's just get the soul right on in there. And what's good about this too is they're clear. So we'll be able to see, you know, all the roots and everything to see if it's doing well or doing bad or whatever, you know. And most of the time, I don't break up, I mean, dep it depends, but I don't break up the soil. Like, it's just so much easier to plant like that, and it's really unnecessary, unless you have, like, a real reason, you know? If you're, like, you want to get rid of the soil and put all new brand, so brand new soil or whatever, then you can break the, the plant up. But I'm not going to do that this time. So, just get the dirt around it, and... Hopefully, we just pray for the best, you know? I should probably put a glove on this one, too. Let's be real. Probably shouldn't use my teeth, but oh well. <laughs> All right. Let's get her. Get her done. Get her done. And as you saw, like, the roots right here are now laid down. So that is good. And like I said, hopefully those roots will stick to some of the soil and it'll start growing, you know? I probably should have scooted this down a little bit more, but that's okay. All right, let's get a little bit more on this side and then we're gonna give her a good drink and we're good to go, baby, you know? I know this probably isn't the most professional way and yada yada, but honestly, you guys, any all hobbies cost money, you know? And especially, like, there are so many, I know people that they spend so much money on the pot and the soil that they use. It has to be organic and the freshest stuff and the fertilizers and all this stuff. And yeah, I mean, that's, that's good, but also money is unlimited. <laughs> You know what I mean? And you can still have fun like being creative and finding cheaper, you know, ways to do things and have fun. Look at that baby. It's got a little new growth coming in. Okay. So that's how she's that's how she's looking. All right. It's got plenty. I, I did put one more um, hole at the bottom. So look at that. Let's give her a good drink. I'm going to wipe the leaves off really well as well. I did get some dirt on there, but we are in business, baby. Okay, I took it out. <laughs> this is the reason why. Like, see how the way that it's growing is growing like this way? Like, see this big root? I want to put this all the way in the corner so that it has some room to grow. So I'm going to take it here and then put it in the corner right here like this, there we go. And now I'm gonna fill it with soil so that these roots here have some 
you know, a chance to attach to the soul kind of. And you guys, this container does kind of look bigger than it is, I guess. I guess probably I could fit another plant. Should I put another plant in here? Because really you don't want to double the space, but that is a pretty big root. Ah, decisions, decisions, you know? Let's just try this one out, I guess. Okay, I'm going to re-put the dirt in there. So for this one, I'm going to put the last two Gloriosums in here. So I'm going to go ahead and get the holes done. And we're going to pop both of those in here. The last two aren't as like wide as that first one. So hopefully they'll be okay kind of being in here together. Right, you guys so I let them drain very well and here is how they turned out I have this one here kind of like on the corner I kind of try to put them like away I guess as best as possible from the other plants just so that the other plants don't get infected but you know it kind of is inevitable this little one in the blue pot right here it does have aphids as well so I am going to clean that one off next but I kind of stacked them on here like you know this one's facing this way because I went with like the pattern of the leaves you know how I kind of put it on the shelf so hopefully they do well I'll definitely keep you guys updated but thank you guys so much for watching I know that plants aren't everyone's cup of tea but I just really really enjoy them and I hope that you enjoyed this video as well if you liked it you know, give it a thumbs up, help your girl out. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.